I'm Jerry DeVlo and I have this canola tester here, we call it canola crusher. So the, the idea is that uh, it's a whole lot easier to sample for green seed. That's correct, yes. Uh, the conventional way involves a few procedures to, uh, uh, to, to test. And uh, th this is kind of simplified. Uh, would you like me to give you a demo? You bet. You just need to dump a little bit of seed in the, in the hopper right there. And uh, you hold the tape as you rotate it, four turns, nice and easy. And just like that, you have a sample for, uh, for your seed count. You can check the greens. The sample's pretty good. I don't see any greens right offhand. So how many seeds uh, comes out in, in the four turns? Uh, a 250 seed count. So this would be far faster than the, the traditional way with the, the hundred done manually in the, in the little stick tester on, on tape. Yeah, they have stick testers that'll test 100 or 500. And uh, it's a little bit of a procedure and the guys get pretty good at it, but still uh, they can cut the time in about one third or maybe less. So do you see the, the application being producers or, or more from the grain buyer end or a little bit of both? I think grain buyers would be especially uh, interested in it. And uh, you know, the bigger producers, uh, the small producers might still want to go the old, old fashioned way for economics. But anybody that's doing a number of samples that's so convenient and uh, you know, easy to do, I think they'd want to go that route. So you, did you develop the crusher yourself? Yes, we did. Uh, I've been thinking about the concept for about four years and uh, I built an airplane in the meantime so that kind of distracted me and learned how to fly. But anyway, uh, I spent uh, about two, three thousand hours doing prototypes and uh, designing. And uh, you know, it looks like a simple machine when you see it here, but when you get down to trying to build it, you know, your gear ratios and your pickup wheel and all this kind of thing, it takes a little bit of tinkering around.